we're going to draw some rotations here. We have a grid and a triangle marked and the triangle is labelled P. The instructions we have are to rotate triangle P through 180 degrees clockwise around the point 96. Let's label the point 96, 9 across, 6 up. So that is our point of rotation. And we're going to rotate the triangle 180 degrees using that point as the centre. So I get my tracing paper. I draw my triangle, trace it out. I'm going to put a sharp pencil on the centre of rotation and then I'm going to rotate that triangle so it's 180 degrees. That means it's going to go all the way upside down. If I actually draw a little line there, then effectively I'm going to rotate it till that line is the other way. So that's 180 degrees there. Careful where it lines up. It's here. I'm going to make a special note through the tracing paper that that's my top line and that's my angle. And so I'm going to move the tracing paper away and I notice that that is where my triangle was. And the question goes and says, label a new triangle Q. So I'm going to put a Q either inside or by the side of that. The next question asks me to rotate triangle P through 90 degrees anti-clockwise around the point 612. So find 612 and that's up here so this is in the way. 612 is there and I must do 90 degrees anti-clockwise. So tracing paper draw around the triangle, press the pencil onto the center of rotation and 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise is this way but 90 degrees if I draw a line straight down from the center then by the time it goes off to the right that'll be 90 degrees. So 90 degrees turning and it's there, let's be careful when it lines up and if I look at my triangle it's just here, that's where the right angle is so I can move my tracing paper and draw the right angle in there. So that is going to be my triangle and it says in the question label the new triangle R. This grid is showing a trapezium and it's been labelled A and the question rotate the shape A through 90 degrees clockwise around the point 79. So let's identify the point 79, 7 across and 9 up. So that is the centre of rotation. Now I get my tracing paper, draw around the shape. Hold my pencil firmly at the centre of rotation. I have to be accurate there or the image shape will be in the wrong place. And this is 90 degrees clockwise. So clockwise, if I start off with my line down there, clockwise is this way. And by the time it's gone 90 degrees, that's 90 degrees. And I can see my right angle here. Move the paper away. That's where the trapezium started. So I can just line it in. And the question asked me to label this shape B. Here we're given a grid with two shapes on it and the question goes and asks us to describe fully the single transformation that maps shape A onto shape B. First thing we have to do is recognise what type of transformation. This one's pretty obviously a rotation. Here's a top tip. All rotations have an angle and a centre. 
Since it's a rotation, I must state the angle of rotation and the center of rotation. If I get my tracing paper, I can trace shape A. And it's quite obvious to see that if I rotate through 180 degrees, I'm going to get the orientation of shape B. So that's 180 degrees, and it doesn't matter whether it's clockwise or anti-clockwise, 180 degrees, 180 degrees, but I'll say clockwise. I've now got to find the center. Since the rotation is 180 degrees, finding the center is quite simple. I can go and say this corresponding corner and that corresponding corner. I can draw a line, light line through them, and the center is going to be somewhere along the line. Uh, to get it accurately, in fact, it's going to be halfway along the line, I'm going to put my tracing paper there on A. Um, halfway, I think, is there. I believe that's going to be the center. I'm going to hold my pencil very firmly and rotate 180 degrees just to check it. Yes, that fits onto shape B. So that is the center of the rotation. Um, let's mark it on the grid. The center of rotation is 7, 6. My answer to this one then is that it was a rotation. It was 180 degrees clockwise or anti-clockwise if it's 180 degrees and the center the center was 76 and I've got to give all three for a rotation one mark for rotation one mark for 180 degrees clockwise and the third mark for center 76 this one's a much harder one again the question goes and states Describe fully the single transformation which maps shape A onto shape B. It's much harder because if you go and trace shape A, if you rotate it, it's only a 90 degree rotation. Now there is no easy method to find the center of a 90 degree rotation. It's got to be a bit of um, trial and error. If you get it first time, purely lucky. If I go and think about rotating it, I can sort of see that that's sort of an arc there coming this way. So if that's a circular arc, then the center is going to be somewhere here. So I'm going to try points there until I get the right one. So tracing paper with the shape A traced. Let's try this point up here. If I push my pencil there and rotate, it doesn't fit onto B. Try moving a bit closer. Do it left-handed so you can see it. It's on A. Nope, doesn't work. Let's move down a bit. Rotate. Mm, a bit closer, down again. Rotate. Not there yet. You can see the pattern that I've been trying. I'll try this one next. I better make sure the shape is bang on A. Let's try that point. Rotate it 90 degrees. Oh, that looks like it could be it. Hang on, have I got that accurate? Let's line it up accurately. Hold my pen so it's perfect. And yes, that is the center of the rotation from A 90 degrees and that was anti-clockwise and the center there is 8 12 so there's my center 8 12 and it was 90 degrees anti-clockwise so there we go rotation 90 degrees anti-clockwise center 8 12 Let's try another rotation. This time, describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle R onto triangle S. Obviously, this is a rotation video, so we know this is going to be a rotation, but let's just check it. So there is triangle R. If I rotate it, it's going to go, and that is a 90 degree rotation from R 90 degrees to S. And the center of it, 
if I sort of roughly do it, it's curving in this arc here, an arc there, so the centre is going to be up here somewhere. Don't know exactly where. I could possibly just use my finger as a base to roughly work it out. But it's somewhere here. So position the triangle accurately on R. Let's try a point, say this point here. Hold the pencil firmly and rotate round. Nope, that doesn't fit to be the centre. Move the triangle back. Let's move one step this way. Still not. It's closer. Let's try another step this way. That looks to be it. Nope, that wasn't 90 degrees. 90 degrees was there, I think. It looked to be it, but I'm going to... Let's line it up carefully again. Dead centre. Don't move the pencil. No, 90 degrees is up there. Let's try a little bit down. You can see how tricky this can be, and there is no shortcut other than trial and improvement. Yep, that's the one. R, can't see it, can you? R, perfectly aligned. Pencil, very firmly held in position. Rotation, and it fits on S. So that's the solution. It's a rotation, 90 degrees anti-clockwise it was, and centre 99. Since these are so hard, I'm going to do one more. Uh, two triangles here. Describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle P onto triangle Q. So there's triangle P drawn out. How do I get to triangle Q? Well, it's a rotation and it's 90 degrees. This time it's 90 degrees clockwise and it's rotating that way. So the center's down here somewhere. Not sure exactly where but line it up perfectly and let's try a few places. Let's try here to start with. Rotate it round. No, nope, that's nowhere near. Let's go a little bit lower. I've just got a gut feeling on that one. Uh, nearly, that's closer. Try across a little bit. No, nope, down. That looked close. Let's do that accurately. Line it up perfectly. Let's try that without moving the pencil at all. Is that going to be the one? Yep, I'm happy that that fits perfectly. So that's the centre of rotation, which is 9-1. So that's the answer there. It's a rotation 90 degrees clockwise this time, and centre is 9-1. And remember, you must give all three things for the um, full marks. Rotation, one mark. 90 degrees clockwise, one mark. Centre, 9-1. One mark.